I mean, I know the like history of it, but in that <laughs> context. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Happy first contact day. Happy Friday. Happy Star Trek and chill. It's your favorite time of the week. It's the favorite time of the year. It's a beautiful day. This is officially the Star Trek and chill 100th episode extravaganza. Uh, wow. Matt Boardman is providing special effects right now. We can't <gasps> see it, but I'm sure they're happening Ooh. somewhere. I bet they're so shiny. Like fire. acid. <laughs> <laughs> So enjoy that, everybody. Uh, let us know how those special effects are turning out on your mm -hmm. end. I think for mm -hmm. everybody at home, they're seeing something different. It's really yes. cool. He's he's a wizard. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we got a lot to talk about because Discovery has dropped their first two episodes. We won't get into details or spoilers about those, but we can talk a bit about it. There's a lot of other news. First Contact Day is all we need to talk about. There's so much to discuss with regards to First Contact and 100 episodes, we're going to have a giant trivia game where, I don't know if we will, but if we did, <laughs> boy, that's... Maybe. That would be... Maybe. That would be okay. amazing if we did. Here's here's a quick sample. Oh. Char, when Star Trek and Chill changed its name for several weeks, oh. what was it called? I know this. It's I the know. Orville and Chill. See? Oh, good. <laughs> nice. Awesome. What a deal. You win the whole episode. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> She's the champion of today's episode for the okay. entire yes. show. Yeah. Uh, all right, everybody. So it's first contact day. Look, myself, Jenny Johnson, uh, Melissa Longo, we're all wearing our bozeman phoenix's shirt that's our favorite baseball team and you can get this shirt at the star trek and chill online store mm -hmm. before the end of this show we'll have some kind of promo code so you could get this today and nice. save a ton of money that's and you awesome. could buy grandma nice. a, a shirt with the cookies and stuff oh, good. <laughs> i gotta get a bozeman phoenix's shirt for me and my grandma we're building that's, what, that's what you won today actually <laughs> For answering that question. So what oh, a deal. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Oh, it's going to be so uh, nice. Isn't life fun? God. Yeah, sometimes. I wish everybody Amazing. could enjoy life. Anyway, uh, nice. so Melissa Longo is here. Hi. Hi. I'm... So I, is... It... <laughs> well, enjoying life. It Shit, reminded me on. of Fiddler on the Roof and, and nice. a song. And... Oh yeah. yeah. What's the song? Um, now it's popped out of my head. <laughs> but I just remembered the, the word lime. <laughs> to life. Never... To life. What are they talking about, Ryan? Well, it's a it's a musical theater thing, I think. The mm. I only know I've never seen it, but I know one song from it because it used to come up in one of my random song selectors back in the day and it would go like mazel tov mazel tov oh, yeah, you say, you, i love that it's tevia's dream that's all i know <laughs> all like I the remember. most random song in it okay but i know it was from fiddler on the roof nice um, so said like if i was a rich man hey yeah, that's yeah. one yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that gwen stefani uh covered yeah, yeah. yeah. So that is the most random cover of anything ever Mm. I literally just realized that now. <laughs> Welcome. We're all learning here today. <laughs> Thank you. Are you serious? Oh, life is so weird. I mean. Uh, Jenny R. Johnson, everybody. Hey. It's first contact day. Uh, the greatest day of the year until really the Cisco day, May 22nd. Exactly. <laughs> you know who else is wearing an awesome first contact day? Charlene Schmidt. Yes, I am. Now, I, I definitely love the Bozeman Phoenix's shirt. I really do need to get that. I'm going to get that before the night is up. But for oh, now, cool. this is in the Mission Log store. Yeah. And I, I will be there in Bozeman as long as I'm alive in mm -hmm. Bozeman on April 5th, 2063. Yes, I yeah. do. I'll put a link to the shirt in the chat if anybody is interested. You can get Field a whole variety trip. of colors. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. yeah get that yeah. shirt everybody 
And uh, we will see you there, Char, in 39 <laughs> short years. Wow, I'll be in my early 60s. I'll be so old by then. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be 82 and drunk and dancing with Stephanie Cochran <laughs> by the jukebox all night. Yeah, that's uh, and doing this. Yeah, dance. no shame. <laughs> yes. Right? Isn't that what he's doing? Right. He's going... uh, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, meteorologist Katie is here, everybody, wearing her prune juice and chill shirt. It's the only <laughs> shirt you can actually drink. It's in liquid form. It's pretty cool. Mm, it's wait, nice. wait, wait, I didn't get the liquid one. Do you have to special uh -huh. order that? I know. It was a chase variant. You had to, it, it was a one in every 10. Man, I always <laughs> screw up these things. <laughs> but good for you. Yeah, do be. Luck. Pure luck. So uh, look, everybody, Dr. Anne-Marie Siegel is here, but not Hi. for the whole show. She's here yes. for a special reason. Oh, yeah. Special well, things. first of all, there is a Star Trek first contact day party in New York that's like two minutes from my apartment, so I have to go. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, we have to talk about this New York City uh, Discovery final season premiere, which was amazing on Wednesday. More on that in a moment, everybody. Uh, real quick, Dr. Muhammad Noor is in the live chat. He says, happy Ooh, first contact day, everybody. Hey, hey. Yay, Vulcans. And I hope they're friendlier than the first season Enterprise Vulcans, he says. <laughs> He's been everywhere. He's been on the uh, the seventh rule review mm, yeah, of the first episode of Discovery. Name dropped yeah. on the Red Room. Wow. Oh, he was with the Sci Fi okay. Sisters, I believe, last yes. night. Mm -hmm. He yes. also has his Bio Trekkie with the Admiral um, at I mean, 10 a.m. Pacific this Sunday. 1 p.m. Eastern time. He's everywhere. He's also going to show up to anybody's house that wants to on Saturday Yay! to pull food and water the lawn. He's everywhere. <laughs> so nice. He's, so He's a busy guy. Yeah. He yeah. Cooks scrambled eggs. It's great. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's really nice. Breakfast too. <laughs> and uh, goes all out. My name is Ryan T. Husk. Everybody, I'll do none of those things ever. I'm not even for yourself. Eggs. No, I mean for myself. <laughs> I'm weeds will never happen though. Anybody that's ever pulled weeds know they're in, it's a nightmare. It's terrible. It's fun. I do it for fun. Am I weird? Mm -hmm. Yep. I really it's actually, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like you got this little tool and you pull them up and they're like a carrot and they're huge. And you're just like, ah. Mm -hmm. True. <laughs> when that you that don't really get them, like... then they're just a pain in the ass and you, it's like pulling teeth then. Mm -hmm. Burn yeah. the yard. Just burn the yard. <laughs> Mohammed says, uh, thank you for the shout out. And yes, I'll be at everyone's houses tomorrow. So you all soon. Oh, oh. oh nice. my God. Awesome. That's awesome. I like that Char said it's a pain in the ass, like pulling teeth. That just gave me the worst visual. <laughs> so well, every, that is... yeah, every oh, corner. No. Pain. Oh, wow. uh, Zanzis Primo says, Ryan T. Husk, the final boss. What's cool about that is. Uh, the final boss, The Rock has recently come up with the nickname, The Final Boss. And I'm so pissed that he came up with that because I'm like, that is the best name ever. That's mm -hmm. the best nickname ever. You know, for every video game has The Final Boss. Yeah. Katie is all about that. And so then oh, yeah. I secretly snuck into a seventh rule review. I said, Ciroc, The Final Boss, Lofton. I'm like, damn, but I really can't use that because that's just, he probably, awesome. he probably thought, wow, that's pretty clever. And I'm like, no, I didn't come up with it. It's The Rock. <laughs> He's too cool. <laughs> anyway. He's too cool. He is. Uh, so hello to everybody in the live chat. May Borello, Fran Iverson, Dave Gregory, Glenn Iverson, Dr. Muhammad Nord, Joshua Reeve, Fada, J.R. Poole, Rashid, what's up? Back of the head. He knows about the final boss. He knows I was stealing that shamelessly from someone. Uh, who else? Uh, Lucia out in Brazil. Terry Rose, what's up? to everybody we see you thanks for hanging out greg kenzo in hawaii all right all right tell us all about it Anne marie okay i forgot oh, wow. that i also Call ordered myself <laughs> a first contact day present to unbox okay so the new york premiere on wednesday night was amazing like Five by sisters were there friend of the show lauren fields was there marina krupchuk was there who's been on star trek and chill before it was it was amazing and it was like a monsoon out, but everybody braved it. And Sonequa came and Wilson Cruz and Sonequa had been on the Colbert show. 
So she was like lamb to the max with this oh, nice. amazing dress. <laughs> it was incredible. Alex Kurtzman was there, Michelle Paradise. We muted. Wow. Dr. Anne Marie Siegel, resident web crawler, I am so sorry for interrupting you. But speaking of monsoon, I'm parched and we forgot to talk about what we're drinking today <gasps> oh, very no. quickly. Oh, my I was God. like, I'm thirsty. I need to drink something. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we didn't yeah, even do introduce the our beverages. <laughs> So, Anne-Marie, what, sorry, what are you drinking? Um, I'm having coffee from the middle of another party, <laughs> another first contact party, and it's been such a Star Trek heavy week here. Um, but I also had pierogies today because that's stuff from Cochrane's favorite food, and that's how they celebrate on Voyager. Very nice. nice. I love that. Oh, Excellent so knowledge. Mm-hmm. You guys are all so freaking smart. I can't believe this. Uh, <laughs> Melissa Longo, what are you drinking, by the way? I am drinking root beer because it's first contact day. Woohoo! Hey, yeah. It's the Federation drink of choice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that reminds me very quickly of what I was going to pick. I said, oh, obviously root beer because that's the Star Trek drink. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go a little bit of an angle here and do ginger beer instead of root beer. Oh, and I thought, nice. it, was do that. Nice. I thought it would be fun. Beer. Everybody in the live chat, humans are known for their root beer on Star Trek. Which <laughs> alien race do you think would go bananas for ginger beer? Like, you know, which alien race would just be like, like the Ferengi or or the, oh. the Bolians or the Borda, like. Who would just be like, oh my god, ginger beer with a little bit of Leola root, right? Yeah, yes. that would be Neelix's. Yeah, Leola That's root Neelix. beer. So this is Another Fentiman's root. ginger beer, and that. I'm gonna try it right yes. now. Ooh. What are you drinking, Char? I've got something I'm going to try. Actually, I was at a local market that has a just a vast selection of things from all this over the shit world. Is sharp. And... Sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <It's gonna twist. laughs> so sorry please continue oh uh, no, that was a great reaction so i've got a mocktail <laughs> and it's made in india and it's a kiwi mojito so we're gonna see how this Ooh, is Ooh, very oh. nice yeah i just saw it and i thought oh well, that's interesting packaging what is it and i'm like mocktail this would be great for trek and chill so here we go yeah Perfect. oh yeah that's delightful kiwi lemons um leaves I can't really see the can, <laughs> but it's got all those. What more could you want? It's got leaves. Right? I mean, Besides leaves. real alcohol. <laughs> all right, Katie, you drinking leaves or tea or anything like that? Well, no, I figured it was first contact day, so I had to do something Star Trek. So I got some cloaked water. Uh, it was a little hard to source, <laughs> nice. but I, it's it's really good. Oh, that's, I don't know that's how even to funnier than, than your... <laughs> Room temperature water. Uh-huh. I also have that. <laughs> That's clever. Cloaked like that. water. Wow. When, when you can't drink most drinks, you get inventive. <laughs> what about you, Jenny R? Well, um, I didn't. Yeah, I was trying to think of something like celebratory in the in my fridge. And I remembered that I had uh, this again, which is a uh, like an Aperol spritz, but it's not alcoholic. It's made in Austria. Lovely Ooh, Austria. Fire. And it's the best color. Look at this thing. It's Ooh, beautiful. Really wow. Pretty. Um, mm, and it's got that like, like bitter. Kaiser. Oh, yay. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. There we go. With just a hint of Robert Kaiser in there. Yum. Mm. <laughs> Essence de Bert, I think it is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's cool. Jenny, did you that say come up with the ish? best drinks, Jenny. Yeah. yeah. Ish ish because it's like ish it's like a split ish that's some good ish right yeah (laughs) speaking of mocktails i do like trying a new canned mocktail now and then nice Mm. yeah you inspired me Mm. (laughs) there's so many good ones now and they're everywhere Mm -hmm. okay okay so the people in the live chat are saying for ginger beer, mm-hmm. Joshua M. Patton says it's obviously got to be Bolians. Oh, Katie says I've never ate a pierogi. Tisk tisk. Oh, not, not this oh, one. But you should. I should. I should. <laughs> you know, so good. They're delicious. Yeah. Uh, Rashid says the Bajorans. Glenn Iverson mm-hmm. says 
uh, Orion's for ginger beer. Mm. Uh, mm. Chuck A says Bolian Alley. Mm. Dave Gregory nice. says Talaxians. Bruce might have us all beat. He says Tholians. I could see that. Oh, sure. Yeah. I'm picturing like Dr. Flox trying to burn and explode that Tholian in Enterprise member. And he's like, when he gets out, he's like, I need a cold ginger beer. Yeah. You know, to, to get through it. <laughs> Katie says trills. Anyway. All right. Sorry, Emery. Thank you so much for your right. patience. <laughs> what about continue. what about gallamites? There, yeah. Ooh. They could drink it and you could see their yeah. skull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> What's he going for? <laughs> the window shade. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've got the lens flare going on. I thought I'd have time to do it while Anne Marie explained uh, the rest of her story, but then she got silent. So, oh no, okay, I'm turning the live chat. Okay, so I pulled up and uh, they gave us these amazing keychains. We got some good swag, which are so cute. And I I got there late because I had just like traveled to get back in time, but um, they also were giving away those like huge foam hands of like the Vulcan salute. Which, but they ran out. But the funny thing was the after party, which was just like us fans to the bar to go to, it was so cold and windy out. And people were using them as gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so funny. Um, but it was just like really great. And, you know, like it's so fun watching it communally. And I have to say, I was just blown away by Discovery on the big screen. Like, oh, yeah. I've never, like, I feel like that's the way to watch Discovery. And I wish... It, it just was such a different experience. And there were things in the background, like when I watched it on TV, I would have never noticed or seen. But on the big screen, it was like very much like that Tilly and that guy subplot, like in the beginning of episode one, when they're at that party in the bar, it's much more clear, like they're in the back talking. Cause it's like on the big screen and you see like every little expression on their face. Just, it was a really, really, really fun. Oh, and like, one of the, the director for episode four was there. And I just feel like that's such a good sign when directors of episodes are coming if they're in. Yeah. In it was yeah. very, very fun. And they had like a gift maker, which I didn't realize oh. was a gift maker. So it's like me walking <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah. Pass. <laughs> like four expensive pictures. Oh my God. <laughs> but Marina Crabchuck was the best because she does like Janeway hands on hips. Like just <laughs> of course hands. Yes. <laughs> it was really great. Um, but they just like Paramount was such a great event and they always give you like free popcorn and drinks, which is so nice. Since the popcorn was so good, I went to get more and it was like $20. And like, oh my god, <laughs> Paramount like buying us all popcorns and they put it in like special discovery um cartons, and I was like, this is just like Linus's romantic popcorn. Like, Nobody tell just... Anne Marie that popcorn's like four cents. <laughs> it's like, theater. how did Viacom afford 30 popcorn boxes? <laughs> no, but it's the thought yeah, that counts. It's super yeah, classy. Well, AMC, really cool. yeah. it's a different story. Um, yeah, so it was just, it was so fun. And they were like doing interviews with people about how they felt about it. Sci-Fi Sisters was doing interviews with people after like they were on fire and so much fun. And mm -hmm. then... We all went to the bar and hung out, and then we get to do it all again tonight. And then I Wonderful. also got myself a, a first contact day present that just came from eBay. Okay, so I got like the medical reference, Starfleet medical reference. Wow, nice. From the 70s. Nice. I found it for just $50. And wow. it's actually illustrated by a young Doug Drexler, I heard. Wow. So, wow. I mean, God, wait, and this one is like brand new. It oh, still cool. has like weird dust inside. I'm so excited. <laughs> but you know, we needed it because uh the Star Trek Science Quiz is going on the road and meteorologist mm -hmm. Katie and I and Dr. Muhammad Noor are doing it in Las Vegas. Oh so, yeah. A lot of times like in space, you can't really see what the screens are. So now I have like really good information to write like next level questions. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. Contact A. Wow. So Man. it's going to be this the Star Trek science quiz show in vivo. In vivo. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I got you saying in vivo. 
That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> and Doug Drexler like did diagrams for a Star Trek reference book in the seventies. Like one of my favorite things in the world. This thing is so like scientific. It looks like a real science textbook. It's wait, hold it, up, hold it up a little bit. Okay, let me find like a good. Okay, here. This is like about drugs of Star Trek. It's. <laughs> it's it's cloaked. It's beautiful. Cloaked. Sorry, you can't. Are the drugs in the room with us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm just okay. oh. There it is. There it is. Hey. 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 It even has like molecular structure. It's That's amazing. Cool. Hey. I'm so impressed by this. Also, and I love your hair. And some of them, if yeah. it messes with your heart rhythm, it then shows the way your heart rhythm would read on EKG Ooh. after taking oh, that's cool. the what? Star Trek drug. This is like, wow. and it goes on the for Star like Trek 20 drug. pages. <laughs> oh, and then it has all these pictures of like um, oh. alien anatomy. Oh, nice. Yep. That's it's so um, cool. Obviously, like it's based on just TOS, but yeah. it's just amazing. Huh. That's uh, cool. We need an so I can't wait. One. I've like never been mm. so excited to read a book. Right now, I just got the picture of of like a really, you know, one of those OG Star Trek fans when you said of just to it, TOS. And he's like, what are you talking about? Just TOS. TOS is Star Trek. <laughs> it wouldn't be, you know, those guys that like, get they get all huffy about that. Oh, I'm just, I'm not like, it even has like development and how like, how did all of our like hearts develop differently? And it's like all oh, like different species great. and how they're different. It is so detailed and amazing. That's um, awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm like very excited. That's something Dr. Nor would love too, I think. Yeah. Actually, yes. I don't know if mom has ever seen this, but this is like heaven. Oh mm -hmm. my God. I they think heaven's have, like, probably better, it but about, go on. Like, plants. <laughs> it's not just, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I just have to show one more picture. So there's a first <laughs> aid section. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. And it's about like artificial ventilation. So like if you, whatever, if, like you're unconscious or you can't breathe, like how to intubate. Oh my God. And the first one is how to intubate a Gorn. And it shows like how to put it, how to put it in the breathing tube into a Gorn because like the angles of like, and of putting it in are different than a human. That is That's amazing. Hysterical. This is like that the is, most wow. end up thing ever. Wow. Whoever made that had a great hyperfixation. Yes. <laughs> and, like, That's awesome. just all, like, this is everything I could ever want. And some of it is like for OSHA, like how to carry people with like different amounts of people carrying it so you don't hurt your back. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> Lift with your legs. Oh my God. This is just all three I of them, know. Eric's. This is pretty <laughs> spectacular. Wow. wow. That's super cool. So, yeah. were there any other notable people at the, uh, at the discovery oh, premiere. Well, Jackie Cox was there and Ooh. they something made my life, which is when I walked in, I saw Sci Fi Sisters and Lori Elder from Trek Movie Day doing interviews. How was Lori? Pictures of them. What? How was Lori? Amazing. Oh, I mean, she was so fun and she had her little Riker. <laughs> so everybody's taking pictures with him. Oh, nice. <laughs> and, of course. Uh, so I started taking pictures of them doing their thing because it's so cool to watch. And then they were like, oh, hi, Emery. And then Jackie Cox turned around because I guess I was interrupting interviews. She said, oh, hi, Diva. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my gosh, Jackie's, uh, her outfit was like Commander Burnham, but in all sparkles. And instead of pants, it was like this long skirt with a tail, like, mm, uh, yes. like a, a train. It was amazing. A it was just a really, really good night. Yeah, like a, the yeah. extension of a skirt. Yeah. Oh, like it, like drags behind, yeah. like wedding yeah, or yeah. wedding dresses, yeah. right? Where they have it, and yeah. it's like it's it's white, but it gets like presumably really dirty. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a train. <laughs> yeah. Okay. English is awesome. Wedding wedding train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My God, this is just the best book ever. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. All right. Well, what else did we miss? Anything else major? Because you guys got to see two episodes. Yes, which was very fun. Did it was it well received? Oh my god, it was so well received. I mean, all the all the spots, like relationship moments, people were loving, and then 
I think everybody like audibly gasped when we found out like who the actual number one was going to be in such a good way and everybody was clapping and it was just beautiful and I was talking to Lori Ulster about this like every time we sit down at one of these screenings which we're so lucky to have um you just like honor as you like start taking it all in you like cry because you're like oh my god I can't believe this is happening I'm at a Star Trek like actual event and it's on the big screen and there's new Star Trek I'm like no one's making fun of you <laughs> it's like you're surrounded by people who love it. It's just mm-hmm. amazing. It was a really special, special night. Lucia in the live chat uh, is asking what the name of the book that you have is. And it is Starfleet Medical Reference Manual. And I Starfleet, I think is two words. I can't remember, but there were a few on eBay. I've been mm. watching these for a while. And this one, this one that was almost brand new finally came up. <laughs> Oh. All right. Uh, we have a cool comment in the live chat. Ooh. It's retired U.S. vet. I was talking to you, U.S. vet, when I was talking TOS, I bet, uh, <laughs> who says, I am so thankful to have known real heroes in my lifetime. You're talking a TV show and movies. Sheesh. Love TOS, <laughs> especially as a kid. But what a waste. I'm a little confused about the end. But uh, thank you for your service, retired U.S. vet, oh my gosh. and for knowing all those heroes in your lifetime. Oh, hmm. And here's the here's the like initial cover because I think it was I don't really know how it was initially sold, but there's like this. I think this was the initial cover, and then they like had to do reprints with like copies of copies because it sold out so fast. But it's very fun, and like apparently it was initially six ninety five, but it's oh, well, <laughs> worth uh, at least fifty dollars plus shipping. Inflation. Oh, so you have like a Star Trek headband too. Oh yeah, I got this at Comic yes. Con. That's awesome. Which is nice. one of my favorite things. She has like Doctor Who and Star Trek, and there's one with like an Enterprise on it. So I'm going to get more. Oh, wow. mm-hmm. cool. Very fun. Fantastic. Well, Anne Marie, you probably you probably have to hop off, but before you do, I also have some treats today. Not just a fun beverage that makes me cough, but. <laughs> Uh, I finally got some really good goodies sent to me from my cousin in France. Uh, and it's all different kinds of black licorice, you guys. Look at all these different yes. ways that you could have black licorice infest your life. Oh, jealous. Jet Reno so, would love it. So oh, everybody, wow. Please feel free to share. Every, here, who wants oh. everybody? Who wants this one? I'm great, thank one. you. Look at this one. Looks. I just really had a bunch one. of black licorice. Actually. Oh, That's like a really minty. Yikes. That's mm. weird. Oh, I hate those. Oh. We gotta Ew. change the temporal variance mm. on the computer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Mm. Where are we going? So we one chewy. of our at least one person in the comment section is just like, I just walked in. What happened? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> you never know with this show. No. Craig Kenzo um, says gross. <laughs> mm-hmm. Black licorice is a very screen. love it or hate it kind of thing. It is definitely. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like the European is so strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> this is I like the strongest things, version but, right here. Oh, God. That looks like it. Wow. Yeah. It looks, like, looks like it could tobacco. kill someone. I don't know it why. Is. It's like a, a really thin tablet and it's hard and it's called. Zol. Uh huh. <laughs> and it's like it's like tar. Like you break a piece, and it just makes your whole mouth so black. And it's not sweet <laughs> in any way. Oh. <laughs> it's extremely intense. It's just like the most intense black licorice. It's like hell on earth, and it's so Are good. They- I feel like things have really Show taken a, a turn here. Delicious. <laughs> sounds great. Love black licorice. That sounds like an experience. But I've not tried that. Oh. Melissa, you got to try this. I have a feeling even if you like black licorice, you won't even be able to handle it. It'll okay. make you like, oh, and I want to see it happen. <laughs> and then it just turns your mouth floor. pure black. Mm-hmm. I want to see that happen. Mm-hmm. It's like like arm is a major mouth. Ooh. <laughs> mm. And then nice. you can fire after. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Black oh <laughs> so intense 
Just <laughs> Repent has a funny comment in the chat. I'd rather French kiss a Gorn than eat black licorice. Oh my God. Mm. Well, <laughs> but they're lizard tongues eating. Like... <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough one. Man, that's a lot of black licorice. I'm going to wash it's it down with another ones. black licorice. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whatever this one is. Wow. <laughs> oh. What if that's more like, intense than what you just did? You oh, these sure, aren't that these bad. These are, you these sure are not have bad. a variety. Yum. Mm. It's just, mm. wow, I'm really, really happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost convincing, Jenny. Mm. Almost. <laughs> so much black licorice, like, right there. <laughs> I'm going to shove all this in my mouth at, at Star Trek me. Las Vegas. <laughs> On day one, right no. before everybody showed up, just to like give big hug. Hey, it's yeah. been so long. Hey. I was like, get him away oh. from me. It's Is it actually the one that turned your mouth black? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. That can be your cosplay. Mm -hmm. I want to check on Wednesday. Yeah. Portable Armis. Portable Armis. Oh, my God. Edible Armis. There you go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Amory, do you have to go or do you still have time? Um, I saw uh, um, sometime, I was just answering Lucia that uh, it is the original Starfleet medical reference book. It's just that I think it's like a second reprint or something mm -hmm. where they change the color just to like plain to make it look or to make it cheaper, I guess. Yeah. So like the original cover is like included as a separate page. Oh, cool. I love this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's from 1977. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. I just love thinking a little Doug Drexler. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. sign me up. <laughs> Terry Rose has a good idea who what says that, that should be a soap, Armis. Yes. <laughs> Armis soap. <laughs> yes. I mean, just nothing but activated charcoal, charcoal. black yeah. and black and black. <laughs> oh, that charcoal you soap know what? is good. Yeah. I did yeah. make a black licorice soap after Jet oh, Reno. Yeah. I right. have not sold mm. one. Yes. People hate black licorice. Guys, it smells pretty good, even if you don't yeah. like black licorice. Yeah, it's sweet anise. It's funny. I like that. Mm. Like, like, like licorice mint tea is one of my favorite things <laughs> on the yes. planet. Yeah, same. I love uh, it. Licorice root. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But licorice in the mm. format that it is currently being ingested is not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I might have to do that. Just a bunch of activated charcoal. But what would mm -hmm. Arma smell like, you guys? Help me out with that one. Salty. Or benzene. What's that? <laughs> what's that kind of? What's that kind of tar? Like, remember when you were a kid and they used to like re tar the re road? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They would repave the 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 the, the mm -hmm. concrete no one outside wants to bathe and it would in stink that. for like yeah. a week. Yeah, yeah. 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 Was it, yeah. We had a we had an oil of... spill in the river near my house once mm -hmm. when I was a kid, oh. and it reeked of that for months. Yeah. So. Oh. What about just chocolate? Chocolate. Ooh. When they, made, yummy. when they made Armis, it was printer ink and Metamucil. Am I right about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll make it orange yeah. because right? orange is the typical flavor of Metamucil. Right. You know, that's a deep cut, but maybe. <laughs> it's a deep cut. <laughs> Some people out there will get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll just say it's orange uh, Metamucil scent. It's amazing. I don't mm -hmm. know why, but he seems to be like a, a Vicks Vapo Rub scent kind of guy. <laughs> just menthol. Yeah. Overwhelming menthol. Like, what does hate smell like? Hmm. Hmm. That. Ugh. Yeah. And black like, no! <laughs> <laughs> We've come full <laughs> circle. It's... Oh! <laughs> oh Maybe God. instead of Jet Reno, I should have saved black licorice for Armis. I mean... <laughs> hmm. they, they can be scent buddies. They can share. They could be scent share. buddies. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I got to get through the rest of what I have of that supply. <laughs> <laughs> rebrand re rebrand it re rebrand yes. his, his armis and see if it goes back better yeah sort of like as a little gag gift maybe yeah. maybe that'll yeah maybe that'll go over better i'll yeah. try it i'll legit try Ooh. that do cut it. them into smaller pieces and then do a tasha yar with a little bonus armis chunk oh piece. my <laughs> god yeah oh now you're talking <laughs> yes a little piece sticking out of them that smells like innocence Right. Yeah. Oh, 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 Tasha, but give her like the splotch. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, dead Tasha flavor. <laughs> He's like a gingerbread <laughs> man cookie. Ladder up, chicken. guys. Oh dead Tasha's gosh. in the house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
there's something there. I'm going to take the best of these ideas and do something. This is not the I way this conversation, I thought, yeah. was, I, I thought this conversation was going to go tonight. No. It's already 8.40. I feel like I should go. I thought it was like five minutes in. You scared me. No, no it's only 5.40. I know. I, know. Wow. <laughs> I, know. God, I was like, so wait, what? <laughs> what you still talking up. about? It's 20 to 10. <laughs> oh, Why God, do you guys say things so day. weird? <laughs> contact day. Bye, Emery. Good luck. Have fun. Yeah. Have fun. You know, Jenny, when you said it's 20 to 10, it reminded me that I can't remember who it was, but somebody said, like, she said something to the effect of, oh, um, yeah, meet us at like 10 to 545. I was like, what the fuck are you even talking about? Why are you yeah, saying why? it 10, like that? <laughs> yeah. Why yeah, would you say ever that. say 10 to Two? 545? <laughs> Just oh, hold of yourself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anarchist. Why does things be so complicated? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, don't give me an equation. Right. <laughs> right. Just keep the brain Just solving sharp. for X. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. No. Oh, All right. man. Yeah. So yeah. I guess Melissa and I are the only black licorice lovers here, huh? That's a bummer. Oh, no. I forced myself to like it for a cosplay. <laughs> I know amazing. Genuine, no, Della Duck from DuckTales, basically the, 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 the boy's mom. She, yeah, <laughs> uh, she got stranded on the moon and all she had to survive was black licorice gum. And so I got blackjack gum and I individually wrapped every okay. single stick so I could hand it out at the con. Not a soul wanted a stick, not a soul oh. took oh one. My so I was God. left with like 120 pieces of this black licorice gum that was kind of expensive. I was like, gonna have it if i'm gonna have it so no, I, I force myself to like it oh my it's god delicious i've always it's liked it when since i was a kid i've liked black licorice and i don't know why and it, it likes kind of you burns but it's sweet <laughs> like hmm. oh. i'm gonna I'm bring Jenny, some salt to stlv yeah. for everybody yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you guys will I'll, have I'll to do, try just I'll a try little it a piece I'll just try a it. little her snickety. But I can't guarantee what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, what Jenny said. They'll be able to smell it. us down the hall. I'm going to be sad. <laughs> you. I'm not just about gag watching you eat it. <laughs> uh, now I forgot what I was going to... Oh, I, I forced myself to like something once, like for real. Mm-hmm. And it was... What was it? Bananas. Oh, I never liked bananas, especially when you would get like the runts yeah. candy and there'd be like the banana one. I'd be like, get this oh, yeah. thing oh, out of here. Fake bananas. Yeah, <laughs> those are the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Piss me off. That's not can No candy is banana flavor. Don't try yeah. to trick me. But my yeah. brother liked it and he liked bananas. And then there's banana bread mm-hmm. and there's banana yeah. chips. And he liked all those things. I was like, that mm. is not even a real fruit. That just tastes like farts or something. <laughs> Not even, don't try to trick me. Cherry is good, all those kind of. Anyway, so fast forward, and they kind of smell like when somebody's eating a banana, like, I'm, I'm, and you're like, I can they do your kind of smell like farts. <laughs> and I don't want to smell that. Anyway, bananas, so... are you guys eating this? Like clean farts. <laughs> I know. American Maybe. bananas, Jenny. Clean. American. <laughs> I don't even so, know. Right. What about combinations Horrifying. with banana, like strawberry banana, kiwi no. banana? None no. of, okay, none still of that. to this day, still to this day. But one day I was just like, you know, I should start liking bananas because they're healthy and they're cheap. And mm-hmm. I remember it was, it was actually on new year's day when it wasn't like a resolution, but it was like just good timing. I was like, all right, I'm going to like bananas now. I bet they'll be fine. I peel it. I was like, oh, that's good. okay. It's fine. Now I have one every day. Hmm. Do you really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, I like bananas. I, mean, I, like bananas. Yeah. Fine. I don't like me. I can't eat them really tummy. ripe. Like like they have to be on the green. They end. have to be right. They do have a sweet there's like spot. a they, yeah, there's a sweet spot. Like like not eat so the skin green too. that they're like yeah, you know. Can you but, really? Yeah. Well, and the bananas that. the banana flavor we know now is not what the original banana flavor was like a while ago because the mm. original banana had like a disease or something and died out. So the banana mm. flavor we have now is different mm-hmm. wow yeah 
crazy. That's the one thing I took from my AP bio class. I'm sure my <laughs> teacher's proud. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they have an interesting banana, I think, in Hawaii. Confirm that, Greg Kenzo, in the live chat. But it's massive. <laughs> it's huge. Really? really? Huge Oh, that's banana. interesting. Because in the Caribbean, they have, like, smaller ones. Like, they're, yes. like, sort of, like, half size yes. And they're so good. Like, they're, like, like candy. candy. You really right. They're so good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, plantains, you mean. Plantains, right? No, no, right. no. no like, bananas. But they're not oh, okay. like not plantains, but yes, okay. like yes, plantains, but not plantains. <laughs> yeah. And okay. You, you have to cook. Yeah. These ones you don't have to cook. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Plantains. Mm. Gonna... But yeah, plantains. It's, yeah. Uh, Gregory Kenzo out in Hawaii says, we have massive bananas here. I think you're right. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I don't know if we're talking about the same thing. <laughs> Yeah. Do you, know that, do you know that chimpanzees and monkeys have a different way of eating bananas than we do? We know how we peel this thing and do that. Yeah. They just pinch the edge here and it opens up. So smart. Oh, really? You just get this yeah. edge yes. right here. That's and, you, oh. yeah, and you pinch so it. Smart. I'm not going to do it now because then I have to eat it, you, just, you know, because <laughs> they die so fast. But if you just watch next time you get a banana, just pinch this yep. little puckery thing and it'll just open right up and you can, yeah, like oh, blossom. Wow. That's how, that's how the monkeys do learning. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's They're how the monkeys do it. Educational program. Monkeys, monkeys and gorillas, that's how breaks do it. it in half and like squeezes oh, it up like a push pop. So I'm assuming that is the wrong way of doing it. <laughs> There's no wrong way to eat a banana, I don't think. It feels Even like that would the be skin. the wrong way. Sideways? <laughs> like oh, corn. It's kind of yeah. <laughs> Chris, Chris Marshall in the live chat says, he says, it's never good when a monkey outsmarts us. I know. Seriously. <laughs> Look, oh, they learn is. better than we do. <laughs> yeah. Humans are terrible at learning. We prove it every day. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. it's just a matter of perspective. <laughs> they approach it from a different way. Oh, Bob D <laughs> says, and the disease is possibly happening again. Note, what? Jenny... <gasps> There is a local Ontario banana. Oh, what? really? What? Yes. Wait. All right. Wow. Canada banana. <laughs> Let me get my sister on that. Interesting. Didn't know you Con could grow bananas in Ontario. Canada. Without hydroponics. <laughs> oh my and, gosh. Uh, could you eat a Canada banana in a cabana though? <laughs> With your friend. Close my webcam and flap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wacky. Wearing a bandana? <laughs> yes. <Wow>. Yes. <laughs> Just outside of Havana. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I think so. What about you, Katie? Your thoughts? <laughs> no. Say a city in Georgia. <laughs> oh God, you guys also, are like... yeah, also sub-Saharan Africa has it. <laughs> Actually, no. Have you heard of the Savannah Bananas? They're that baseball no, but I would team love that does to. all these. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's like a, a weird in pajamas spin-off thing. I know <laughs> that's the song that's going through my head. <laughs> They're marching down the stairs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you guys know how to say pineapple in French? I do. No. Teach us. Say it. Anana. <laughs> Anana. Oh. <laughs> James wow. Taylor has a song called Ananas. I love it so much. Wow. <laughs> he does. James Taylor. Shout out to James Taylor, who I'm sure is watching right now. Is he the guy that sings, you've got a friend? Yes, he is. Oh, that's sweet. He's my favorite. Aww. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my musical tastes are varied. <laughs> no, he's great. Good. All right. Okay. <laughs> so... What Ooh, have we learned today? Half of the stream. Well, We've learned so much. I'm tired now. <laughs> my brain can't take a whole lot more. 
Chuck A says, I wish this discussion with banana split. Well, we should have. <laughs> we should it's have enough banana have knowledge for one week. visitor on the show. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I broke Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the first fruit that a Vulcan tried was. <laughs> that was very poor grammar. I apologize. <laughs> I ended that sentence with a preposition. Or no, I didn't. That was, what even, that was a verb, even. Yeah. The preposition was a verb. A, they landed in Bozeman, so they probably just had a potato. <laughs> like, yeah, what can you grow? What fruits can you grow in Bozeman? I mean, why, why isn't Boar Dog Heim here? Uh, yeah. I probably like more like uh, I don't know raspberries, like bush, like yeah, fruits, <laughs> something poisonous. Yeah, <laughs> not going there. <laughs> my bad. Oh my <laughs> what do you guys think is Vulcan's favorite fruits? We know that Saru loves bloobs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, a lot of people do. But, but what is what do Vulcans like? The they question. seem like they like strawberries. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Or maybe Wild. something like a little I... more exotic, like a acai berries. Remember <laughs> those guys? <laughs> yeah. I kind of feel like they'd like something not sweet, maybe more on the tart, tart side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cran like lemon oh. or rhubarb. You can grow that in Montana, probably. I love I go rhubarb. It's also a root, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Or stem things. Stop. It grows Stop. like a weed it's like... in the north. It's, oh wow. yeah, it does. It's like uh celery kind of. Yeah. Okay. Not, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Red celery. Vulcans like yeah. black licorice. There's no doubt about it. Oh, well, actually, oh yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe a little just, bit of doubt. I know. I just I just pictured <laughs> to Paul with the cigarette going, extinguish that immediately. I could picture her saying, mm. spit that out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder yeah. if the live chat would have any thoughts mm. on a Vulcan's favorite fruit. Ooh, Kale's Bliss says lychee. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's a good choice. Durian. I bet they like durian fruit. (laughs) (laughs) They'd be like, I love this. The Malon like durian fruit because they're like trash collectors or something. Yeah. Yeah. They like stinky trash. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Hmm. I bet you cling on like durian fruit too. Right. The warrior's fruit. See that. That is a warrior's fruit. <laughs> I could see them liking coconuts too, because you have to like work for it. Oh, they like, yeah. oh totally. Arr. Yeah. Yeah. They, they just like take their fingers and shove them in the dots. Like, is this how you Ooh. open it? Or just right? like <laughs> crash them into their ridges on their forehead if they have them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's they used to open it. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. And they pour the, the milk yeah. all over their faces because they're yeah. war fit. And then they- <laughs> You are so full of the puns tonight. Wow. I didn't make that one up. There's That's, right. There's worth it. There's like him whisking his hair around saying, because you're worth it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Laurel, because you're worth it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no. oh, that's funny. Katie says what? prunes, of course. Yeah, for sure. Yes, naturally. Mm. Hmm. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Prickly pear cactus. Mm. Yeah, I want to try that. Ooh, prickly pear. Yeah, it's try that. good. It's good. Mm. This is a place in the Tortilla Flats that has it as an ice cream out in Arizona. Mm. Ooh. Yes, they're called tortillas. Yes. Tortilla Flats. Now, now I want tacos. That... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had like a right quesadilla of... earlier. Oh, <laughs> hey. That's awesome. Ooh. Yes. Oh man. Okay. All okay. right. Looks like the tortilla flats are east of Phoenix. Interesting. Oh, that is very interesting. Mm, that was that after is. there were like a bunch of rabid dogs on the loose, so we couldn't go on our hike. Oh, cute. Oh, uh-huh. so we went and got wow. ice cream instead. Oh, huh. that's a good that's, plan too. You're winning that for that sure. That's a decent default. Rabid oh, dogs. How did you know they were rabid dogs? Oh, there were signs put up every like hundred yards. Oh, okay, gotcha. 
Gotcha. I'm like there's a roaming pack of rabid dogs. Do not go alone. <laughs> oh gosh. <sighs> that was pretty. We drove. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, poor dogs. <laughs> oh, poor I know rabid dogs. dogs. Oh my poor gosh. Dogs. Oh no. All right. Oh, no. <clears throat> we have a we have an argument against Leechy. <laughs> oh, oh what okay. happened? Well, uh Bada oh. suggests that Lee Chi has a strong taste and can be a stool loosener, so I don't think Vulcans would like it very much. Mm. I did not know I that. I did hear huh. about the stool loosening. Mm -hmm. If you eat too much of it, but it's delicious. Mm -hmm. oh, so good. I mean, that can kind of be said for most fruits. Well, it's yeah, because they're fiber. fibrous, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. So anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Speaking of Arizona, I was just looking at this map and I really want to go again to Arizona, but go further east into like New Mexico and see all the mm. the old west places mm. in New Mexico. Yeah. There's a place and called Alice Truth. Sorry. Right? There's a oh. place called Truth or Consequences, yes. New Mexico. Yes, there is. That's cool. And Silver City and mm -hmm. Lordsburg. Oh, yeah. I want to see these places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Road that's trip. A good name. There's yes. a little Albuquerque. Whoa. And then just keep going east and come see me. So <laughs> yeah. a little bit north. You'll eventually get there. <laughs> so, you know, Albuquerque and Santa Fe are pretty close to each other. Mm -hmm. But just yeah. a little further east is a city in New Mexico called Las Vegas. Yes. When I was a kid, that confused the heck out of me. Mm -hmm. We were on a road trip, actually, going down somewhere in New Mexico and I see the signs for Las Vegas. I thought, are we that close in Nevada? <laughs> oh, no. In New Mexico? I, I didn't get it. Like, no, no, no. It's a different Las Vegas. And I thought, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm That's pissed confusing. about that, too. Like, why is Kansas City in Missouri? It's right? also in Kansas, though. Yeah, I believe yeah there's that's two. Why is Kansas City the capital of Missouri and not the capital of Kansas? Why is okay. it Kansas and not Ar <laughs> Why is it Ar Kansas? Ar Kansas? It's America. Kansas. Yeah, Ar yeah. Kansas. <laughs> Ar Kansas, yeah. <laughs> Why is it even pronounced Arkansas when there's an S at the end? It it's a very good question. Someone are, probably had a mouthful a of language. licorice and was like, yeah, so Ar Kansas. <laughs> Way to bring it back. <laughs> There's also a buffalo. Where's that? Buffalo, Oklahoma. Oh, I'm all the way in Oklahoma. Oh, there's Liberal, Oklahoma. That's fun. <laughs> Angel <laughs> Fire. Ooh, I want to go to Angel Fire, New yeah. Mexico. That place sounds fire. Crazy. Angel Fire. Wasn't that like an early internet thing? It sure was. That was where I made yeah. my very first web page. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> Angel what, Fire, Angel yeah, Fire? if you didn't go on GeoCities, there was Angel oh, Fire. I was on GeoCities. Oh. <laughs> I didn't yeah. like their what site year builder. Was this? Well, yeah. these out of curiosity. What the site builder? You're like, learn HTML. <laughs> yeah, in, in 1996, that summer yeah. that I learned HTML. Hey, I <laughs> well, was meanwhile, born. you yeah, you were being born. Yes. That's yes. wow. <clears throat> that is that's whoa. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. I know. <laughs> My French French getting French damn French. old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh katie's gonna be responsible for getting us all to to bozeman in 63 oh, years this... <laughs> <laughs> I, she'll be I wheeling us she's gonna be driving the bus maybe <laughs> how old will everybody right be anybody care about talking about that <laughs> well, in 63 years early 60s yeah what is 39 30... years from now Same. Oh, yeah. Why did I think it was 63? What am I becoming? Oh, because 2060. Oh, cheaper, Jenny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 60. 30. I'll be 82. Carry the... I'm not we'll be well into our multiple decades. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Yeah. 66. Oh. I actually, that. Um... <laughs> oh, I'll be 84. I, <laughs> I made a, a, uh, a, Two Truths and a Lie trivia first oh. contact day thing. Oh, and boy. this might be a question. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I love this. In, in that. <laughs> well, 
you know, we have time now. The, yes. there are, there's housing developments. If we invest right now, it's a quarter of a million dollars for a thousand square feet. We could have a place to stay in 39 years. Oh, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. <laughs> when they buy it, when at... they want to buy the, <laughs> the land to make a theme park there, we'll be rich. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> For the ultimate that's time we'll get them. Yes. <laughs> and then we can retire. Oh, Amazing. <laughs> I feel like the whole fandom needs to go in on this and just buy up all the land. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, yeah. They have a huge park. boom. <laughs> yes. All right, oh, two I truths and a lie. Here we go. Yeah. <clears throat> Number one. The date, April 5th, her first contact day, was chosen because it was Ronald D. Moore's oldest son's birthday. B, the movie Star Trek First Contact has a PG-13 motion picture rating. C, the Vulcan who first salutes Zephram Cochran in the film is named Soul Call. Soul Call. S-O-L-K-A-L. Soul Cal. I mean, I know there was no name mentioned, but maybe that's like on IMDb, it has his name. Uh, I'm going to guess A, because I feel like that has enough details for it to be Ronald D. Moore's youngest son or oldest daughter or, you know, a, well. or a different or a different writer's, you know, yeah. just I'm a lot of different like ways. But... <laughs> yeah, that's very I'm... oddly specific. Hmm. It's just hmm. the most wiggle Wait, the room whole, there. The second one was it was PG? PG-13. PG-13. I was going to say, I know so you... there's a word in there that would make yeah. it different. <laughs> Lily yeah. Sloan says Do you bullshit. three want yes. to be alone? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're like, mm. <laughs> Yeah. Tactile contacts. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Mm. Stroking the missile. Big shout out to <laughs> Lily Sloan, who is highly underrepresented in this fandom and who yes, love saved her. the world and love also her. is amazing. <laughs> yes. It's yes. my first ray gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. So good. Love her. Oh my yeah. God. And highly underrated. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Yeah. So let's see here. What's uh what's everybody saying? Uh, I'm seeing some A's and some C's. Not seeing any b b b b hmm. B's, though. Hmm. What do you guys think? I think hmm. it's A as the a. liar. I do, too. A. I think it's A. A. I, I would have overthought a. it, but then you overthought it, so then I didn't have to. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's how you really use your brain. <laughs> The answer is C. I changed ah. the the R at the end of his name to L, and they mentioned a so Soul Car's name in um, Star Trek Three, the movie. Amazing, so, and it, it's oh, Spock's cool. grandpa. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. Oh, right, yeah. Ryan, you screwed us. Uh. -uh. <laughs> I got all caught up in the overly specific thing and thought, yeah, that's gotta be it. And I know. Kind of <laughs> but yes, sorry about that. It was well, named after evolving. Ronald D. Moore's son, oldest son's oldest birthday. Son. Nice. Yeah. Ah. All right. Happy birthday to Happy Ryan. Happy birthday to, to, to Ron's yeah. oldest yeah. son. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Good job, Katie. VFX, Art DS, and Bruce McMillan for getting that one right. Way yeah. to go. Virtual high five from Melissa there. All right. Next is number two. The Borg sphere makes its second appearance in the first contact movie. B. James Cromwell claimed that Zephram Cochran was the closest of any of his roles to his personality in real life. C, the character Zephram Cochran was first seen in Metamorphosis 1967. Now, I might throw you guys off here <laughs> like I did last time. Now, I know I know James Cromwell. Mm -hmm. um, 
I don't know that quote from B that he said he was the closest, but I will say he is fun. He is gregarious. He is. So I could definitely see him saying that that would totally make sense to me. So I think absolutely B is a truth in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's a, because I think that's the first time we see the Borg sphere. Not the second time. That's what I, I think agree too. because in... we do see it again, but we don't see it until. Right. I remember when I first saw first contact, that sphere coming out was a new yeah. thing. I remember yeah. going like, yeah. whoa. It's right. right? Yeah. So that's got to be the lie. I'm inclined to agree. I'll just stick with A. And if I'm the wrong one this time, well, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You are correct. Mm. All <laughs> right, everybody. So, it is the first time we see the Borg Spear. Great job, Chris Marshall. Yeah. Uh, Greg Kenzo, KL Bliss. Oh, sorry, you said C. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, Lucia said A. Uh, VFX Art DS got A. Uh, Chris Marshall got A. Dave Gregory A. KL Bliss said A. Okay. Yeah, cool. <laughs> we got this one. <laughs> All right, what's the next one? Perfect. Sorry, Katie. Katie just texted me. She said, "I hate these with like this emoji." Aww. You know that one? <laughs> no, no, she didn't really. She likes. <laughs> uh, three. <laughs> Jonathan Frakes watched Jaws, Alien, Aliens, E.T and Blade Runner for inspiration before directing the movie. I could be B, the film was released in theaters four months after filming Wrapped. C, in the Voyager episode Homestead, Neelix and Naomi Wildman throw a party celebrating the 315th anniversary of First Contact Day, complete with Zephram Cochran's favorite cheese Rogies. There's a lot going on. There is a lot of here. detail in a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. Here's my thinking on this to mm -hmm. throw everybody off. This I like to just throw stuff out. Perfect. <laughs> A is true because she put in so many movies out there. Like she's just like, that one's going to seem like. Fake. like there's too many things there's so many things people are gonna I was pick thinking one that. yeah so that one's okay. that one's spot on that's that's a true item hmm. b four months after filming wrapped seems, i feel like that's the seems falsehood. really short very short yeah especially for the special effects but i don't know when they but were they in a hurry filming. yeah or yeah, maybe right. they just did a couple reshoots four months before so right. it's certainly possible I just feel like that's the simplest one. So she's trying to throw us off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure C is true. Okay. Uh, yeah. She's pierogies. Was it the 316th, so, did we say? 315. Oh, hell, I don't know yeah. that one. That's where <laughs> that's where the fudge might come in. Yeah, that, <laughs> the, that, that technical number. detail. I don't know. Not off the top of my head. Yeah. What I appreciate about this game and... is that it is also a game of psychologically assessing police. <laughs> <laughs> and deciding, hmm. You guys, Gregory Kenzo sends a fun super chat and he says, Aww. happy first contact day, oh, BBs. That super yes. chat, everybody, goes to everybody gets black licorice at Star Trek oh, Las Vegas. Oh, that's so yeah. special. Oh, everybody's so excited. <laughs> we, guy, we including Greg. Oh, great job, oh. Greg. You're gonna, He's like, oh, oh I take it back. He just deleted it, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh but, <laughs> the charge but Katie the did company. one as well. Oh. Oh, thank you, Katie. Oh, yes. There it is. Thank you very much, Katie, who hey. says, happy first contact day. Can't wait to return home to my beloved state of Montana in 39 years to celebrate with all these amazing people. P.S. Yeah. I'll bring the Depends. She says, thank you, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm sure we'll need them. <laughs> thank you, so, Katie. We appreciate you. you. <laughs> so the lie 
is A. He watched ah, all of those, uh, but but I switched out E.T. for Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Oh, oh. nice. Well done. <laughs> oh, oh, well you done. sneak. Newman. <laughs> well done. I well played, Melissa. <laughs> well played. Melissa. Oh, everybody, uh, this is Melissa's last show oh. today. So everybody, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's we really enjoyed having her <laughs> tricking us. Uh, number four. A. During a rogue mission to exonerate Captain Carol Freeman, Mariner and her friends take a detour to Bozeman, Montana in the Lower Decks episode, Grounded. This one's false. They're not her friends. They're her crew. <laughs> <laughs> That's the detail we're looking for, <laughs> yes. B, <laughs> on April 5th, Ronald D. Moore's oldest brother's, wait, oldest son's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> Maybe his brother, uh, too. <laughs> on April 5th, 2385, the planet Mars is attacked by rogue synths. Okay, so that's Picard season one talk, I think, or season two. Yeah. Season one. One. We're uh, having a licorice C, battle now in the chat. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> in the mirror universe, first contact day happens on April 4th, 2063. However, instead of a peaceful greeting, the Vulcans are slaughtered by the Terrans. That's true, but it's a different day. I don't recall that. I don't recall being a different day. I'm not sure. What's the, uh, so while they're coming up with that, what's the uh, black licorice battle? Well, we now have a funding of Red Vines, the only elite licorice, according to Joshua Patton. <laughs> so no, no, we're no, eventually no, no. going to have a whole variety of licorice. This yes. keeps up. Oh my God. I like this idea. <laughs> we could have like a little licorice bar, you know? Twizzlers. Mm -hmm. There's some places and, and online and some stores that have like multiple varieties and flavors of oh my yes. liquor. Yes. Liquor ice, I think, is they're, plural they're, of licorice. Are, I don't know. These are terrible <laughs> places. It I sounds don't, like a I disease, Ryan. No, why? Liquor why? ice. There's an online store called licorice.com. Whoa, okay. I'm licorice. so delighted for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can get all How many varieties licorice. are there? Oh, yeah. man. They need to be a sponsor here. They really oh, should. You guys, I mean... <laughs> Oh man, they've got tons of stuff. Yeah. Look at wow. this. Oh, yes. Geez. oh yes. Sour yeah, licorice. Yes. That's what I'm wow. talking about. Australian? This is my worst nightmare right here. Oh. <laughs> Get that yellow red. one. I don't even know oh, what the yellow God. one is, but it, it looks so juicy. Maybe banana. It's probably Ooh, mangoes. look at these fun guys right here. Mushroom. Yeah. Ooh, finish. Licorice candy canes. Oh, mm. I'd try the candy cane one. I want to, yeah. whoa. Oh, this is Sarah's mm. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, Sweet and, and sour. sour. Italian licorice. What? I mean, oh, look at this, this party right wild. here. Rainbow rolls. <laughs> Rainbow rolls. Hell yeah. <laughs> wow. Like, oh, okay. Nice, okay. But... Oh, wow. Australian green. Australian yes. green up finish mango. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is Your amazing. Sweet fruit. Well, yeah. sour rainbow. This is really wonderful for everyone. Else. Jenny, do you really hate all licorice? Really Are you ill? No. <laughs> I will be if I eat it. What a hater! I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. More for the, the rest of us. Ones. Yeah. I heard. Gummy. Gummy. Okay, the I heard Jenny hates koalas too. I Rude. do not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh no! Wait, I got that wrong. Sorry, no. It's licorice have to do with each other. It's koalas that hate you. Sorry, I got that mixed up. Oh, that's Sorry. true. Yeah, they. Well, they are kind of jerks, from what I understand. Oh, yeah, they just get really? high on leaves and stuff, right? They right. Just want yeah. To chill they just, out yeah. and have a nice time. Food. <laughs> Don't bother them and they won't bother you. But look at this <laughs> right. watermelon sour twist. I want that. Wow. Yes. That's look at that. So it's got dang it. a fruity scent. Look at all the red 40. Yeah. Yum. Mm. Whoa. Blue oh, raspberry. Blue ones. <gasps> hey. Cinnamon yeah. shorties. I'm going for the cinnamon yes. shorties. Yes. All right. No way. <laughs> Yum. 
Yes. Oh Whoa. Jenny's just going to leave okay. at some point. You know how they have the colorful Huckleberry. food cubes in TOS? Well, we yeah. can have colorful licorice cubes. Yeah. Yes. A we've Vegas. got all of our food yeah. groups. We've got fruits here and things we've got like the blue that, right? Ones. It's healthy. Purple ones. Purple nurples. Look, Huckleberry shorties, we could get those for Wardogheim. Yeah. Nice. He's got Huckleberry I where he ate goes. his Huckleberry. <laughs> that sounds wrong. But the Huckleberry licorice he sent were delicious <laughs> mm, nice i'd be down with the green apple too this i, I could do yeah, this all day me too. caramel pillows oh wow. so you can you can nap and like eat mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's a sign of sticky <laughs> whoa Ooh. white chocolate whoa. strawberry down unders are you oh, this kidding just, this has this gotten even coated liquor this has yes. gotten even more horrific. I'm not sure yeah. how I feel about this one. You call chocolate, it horrific. Chocolate I call strawberry it down unders. I'm not. I don't know. I don't I'm like down. that name. Oh my god. Milk chocolate wow. though. All right. Okay. This is just this. Is All right. Just, we got. Okay. We got to move okay, on. Oh, so sorry. Jenny. So do we want to know the answer? Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, we were playing a game, weren't we? (gasps) You made my boy scream. (gasps) You you literally, as you were talking about, he was just like, "Nah." Oh, look at that face! All right, so what's what's the answer? Is that the chocolate strawberry down under? (laughs) Wait, um, what was the question? What was the question again? Yeah, I don't know. During a rogue mission to exonerate Captain Carol Freeman, Mariner and her friends take a detour. To Bozeman, Montana, in the Lower Decks episode, Grounded. I think mm-hmm. it's a different episode. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, B, on April 5th, 2385, the planet Mars is attacked by rogue synths. C, in the Mirror Universe, First Contact Day happens on April 4th, 2063. However, instead of a peaceful greeting, the Vulcans are slaughtered by Terrans. I don't remember a date being mentioned, but maybe it's on, like, Memory Alpha or something, you know? I think that's a lie. I think it's the lie. too. So the lie is C. Yeah, it, <laughs> it did happen on April fifth, just like our universe. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. Yeah. yeah. Good job, everybody. See, this is what happens to your brain when you don't eat licorice. No. Wow. <laughs> I just ate a lot of licorice. My brain feels awesome right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like four hamsters. My belly's like wide. medium, but my brain is awesome. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the next two might be pretty easy, but let's give them a go. <laughs> All right, number I five. Can't wait. The song Zephram Cochran plays during the launch of the Phoenix is "Magic Carpet Ride" by Steppenwolf. B. In the movie, when Zephram Cochran meets a Commander Riker. He asks if Riker is Deanna Troy's husband, to which Troy replies, not yet. That reminds me of the Karate Kid. Remember when Mr. Miyagi was trying to catch that fly with mm-hmm. the chopsticks? <laughs> yeah. He's like, whoa, you can you catch flies with the chopstick if you ever caught it or whatever. And he says, not yet. You know, but it was just a fun <laughs> um, C, Captain Picard tells Lily Sloan that the Federation is made up of over 150 planets. The number was chosen for the roughly 150 members of the United Nations at the time. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's B. Yeah, I think so too. I don't remember that line being said, nope. but I haven't seen no, it that in wasn't a it. very long time. Yeah, she didn't say that. She said no. You are correct, but <laughs> I had to try not to laugh because I pictured her going, not yet. <laughs> he goes, is he your husband or something? She goes, no. And he goes, good. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> good. He kind of just belched it out. He did. Yeah, she, she just said no, but I thought not yet it would be colorful. More colorful. <laughs> Also, I feel like we've she was drunk, seen, so you know <laughs> exactly. And we've seen Marina Sirtis so much like in our lives that you can Im- absolutely picture her saying yeah. a thousand percent. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> not yet <laughs> so everybody in the live chat guessed b good job yes. everybody good nice. good good job yes. oh yeah. fantastic right. number six the final one mm -hmm. here it is a captain picard's authorization code in the movie first contact is picard 47 alpha tango b in the film, Voyager's EMH reprises a catchphrase originated by Bones. The EMH says, I'm a doctor, not a doorstop. <laughs> I remember that good scene impression. very well. Mm -hmm. like, very good. Because I actually remembered the scene when he said it. You know, yeah. Perhaps an analgesic <laughs> cream, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> or the organ plants can be very irritating. Oh my gosh. Right. That's, that's great. Right. <laughs> It's funny. I haven't seen that movie in like 20 years easily, but it's just so really? well written that you remember <gasps> so the lines, you know? Oh, oh fine. Man. If you ever have time again, you should watch it. I don't have time. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Luckily, I remember don't it pretty well. Time. <laughs> There's no time to argue about the timeline. We don't have the time. <laughs> Nicely anyway. done. What was I saying? Yeah. <laughs> It's a primitive culture. <laughs> I'm just all trying right. to blend yeah. in. You're blended, all right. <laughs> Shaking yeah. mustard. Oh, wait. Great job, everybody. We and did it. Scene. All right. And C. <laughs> on Thursday, April 5th, 2063. Okay, it's, it's going to be a Wednesday, not a Thursday. On Thursday, April 5th, 2063... <laughs> The first official first contact day, Melissa, sorry, Melissa <laughs> F. Longo will be 75 years, four months, and two days old. Okay. Okay. I'm going in the calendar. We're looking at the year 2063. <laughs> okay. Yeah, C is saw. the falsehood. So sorry, Melissa. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say why. But C is the very falsehood. <laughs> the extreme falsehood. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did a worse falsehood just 20 minutes ago on this subject, so. True. <laughs> so. <laughs> But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Oh, everybody's being it's so C. mean. They're saying C. C. That is it so. Has long numbers. Yeah. A is correct. B. I forgot what it was, but it's also correct. Oh, Doctor Not Doorstop. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got to mm -hmm. be C. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew Ryan would get it because yeah. mm -hmm. he knows how old he'll be. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, I know, I know exactly I'll how. Be. Yeah. <laughs> And you're a little sandwich between us. Mm, yeah. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Kind of, mm. yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, I'll actually be 76 years old, not 75 oh, years old. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Math. Yeah. 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 Four months That's... and two days. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Great job, right. everybody. Boy. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes and um there were a couple of people who were saying boo and no to hearing that it's my last show so i decided <laughs> to return <laughs> oh, oh my goodness hey. 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 all right good 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 uh, relieved <laughs> thank you to the live chat for encouraging her Yay. <laughs> yeah, we can't do this without you no. Uh. <laughs> no way oh my gosh all right yeah who were those yeah. people melissa just well, out of curiosity <laughs> you're making we... a hit list <laughs> <laughs> um where did it go um i don't remember where it is oh wait <laughs> it was katie and Lucia and mm -hmm. um, Dave Gregory and yeah. Bruce McMillan. These are all my friends. Nice. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> as for the rest of you. Please, sir. Yeah. yeah, the rest of you are not friends. I don't know about the rest yeah. of you. <laughs> oh, and Joshua M. Patton says, hashtag save Melissa Longo on Star Trek and Chill. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that's socials. Yes. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> anyway hmm. <laughs> hmm. i'm still thinking about that real estate plan real estate yeah. plan is a great idea you could do yeah, it really is. i mean yeah if you have a quarter million dollar property divided yeah. by five of us it's mm -hmm. already more fiscally possible than anything else i've seen <laughs> absolutely <laughs> it's so true absolutely we have how many yeah. people watching right now if everyone pitched in like 10 grand yeah Let's get that super go. chat going. Yeah. <laughs> We've decided to change the licorice fund to real estate. In Bozeman, Montana. Yeah. yeah. Oh uh, <laughs> well, and you know, if we did, if we did get that and we mm. meet weekly on Fridays, we could classify ourselves as a church and become tax exempt. So in the long run, we could oh. make a decent amount of money from this. Oh my God! Mm. Uh, I'm like the lady as the chair. She's going to outlive us all, right. and so then she inherits <laughs> it all. I see Welcome what you're to our doing, lady. I know what this is. I know the legality. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I've always said I wouldn't join a cult, but I might join this cult because it's would you be a cult spirit? leader though? Exactly. <laughs> that might be the best way to go for to the companionship. And yeah, you know, the, the retirement office said plan. it. You have more yeah. fun as a follower, but you make more money as a leader. True, yeah. true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the mm -hmm. government probably has a spy watching this right now. And it's just Hi, NSA. They're, they're starting <laughs> their own religion. Touch. Time to swoop in. <laughs> I had a good friend that was an SA too. He was cool. Nice. <laughs> good friend of mine. Thank you. He was good. He was a cool guy. Oh, gosh, go ahead. <laughs> What happened, Katie? Yes, the super chat. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. JR pool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the church is, is... So it begins. So yes. it begins. <laughs> I don't know what I missed, this but everybody at home... I've never seen. Uh, oh uh, we just did All right, that's a, it. We're uh, forming a cult. We just did a discount code <laughs> on the Star Trek and Chill store. Uh, I was going to make it just for these shirts, but we're like, you know what? Let's get zany. Let's make it store wide. Every oh. single thing you click the link below Star Trek and chill anything, no minimum bid, no maximum, get whatever you want. 30% off. Just type promo code first F I R S T get as much as you want. 30% off, uh, and have your fun. It's going to last for like three days, just over the weekend. So get whatever you like, That's and wonderful. it should be a great time. And um, you'll get shirts like this in time for the next first contact yeah. day. And then we'll and all wear it when we're like a million 39 years from now. And they'll be like yeah. faded and we'll be faded. <laughs> That's going to be so awesome. Yeah. Same old comments. ratty shirt. I'm yeah. going to do it. the most buff 76 year old <laughs> ever. <laughs> Yeah, no, thank you. Well, yes. no, that's Ernie Hudson. I don't know about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Right that, years and that guy is kicking. Yeah, that's <laughs> a big just... Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> that's his line in Ghostbusters. That's so good. Yes. <laughs> that's oh, a big Twinkie. I love Ernie Hudson. I do too. Yeah. Mm. Oh. All right. So the point is, everybody, uh, let's talk about this week real quick so yesterday on uh the seventh rule we released our two reviews of the first two episodes of discovery because star trek was like no nah, buy one get one free you get two episodes <laughs> today yeah and uh for our first review we had dr muhammad Noor joining us and for the second review with the second episode we had the director of the episode doug Arniakoski, spell yes. that. <laughs> A A R N I O K O S K I. So mm -hmm. the point is, he's great. He's directed like five episodes of Discovery, five episodes of Picard, even a short trek. Dudes everywhere. 
great interview. Check those out. Then on Sunday on the Seventh Rule YouTube channel, by the way, those discovery reviews are available right now on the Seventh Rule YouTube channel. Sunday, 9 a.m. Pacific. God, is it already getting close to, it's already going to be the 8th. Um, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern time on the Seventh Rule YouTube channel. We have our first segment review of, oh, everybody's favorite punk band from the OC, The Offspring. Remember that yeah. album? Yes. I mean, yep. Yep. <laughs> episode. <laughs> Actually, The Offspring's Smash album that was so big and amazing mm -hmm. this summer will be celebrating their 30 year anniversary. So that'll be cool. Check oh that out. Oh my God. I'm doing a concert tour for what? that. What? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 30 years <laughs> 30 great great album but anyway sunday 9 a.m pacific 12 p.m eastern time on the seventh world youtube channel first segment review of the offspring with the writer of the episode we finally got so awesome renee echeverria <laughs> joining us finally so excited about that check it out this sunday then a monday on the seventh world youtube channel 6 p.m pacific 9 p.m eastern time our full review of it's the episode that Anakin Skywalker hates the most, The High Ground. <laughs> That's a good that joke. That joke does not get old. I love that <laughs> yeah, joke. that is good stuff. Uh, anyway, The High Ground with stunt coordinator, because there's a ton of stunts. There's all these battles and explosions. Mm. Dennis Matalone joins us, who apparently lives 100 feet away from me, and we only found that out when we recorded this. The coolest thing He's in the world. amazing. Uh, Yes, so you know him from yeah. Star Trek and The Greatest American Hero. Then on Tuesday, everybody come right back here on the Virtual TrekCon channel for the main viewer live, <laughs> 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern time, the main viewer. Also, backtrack two days ago on the Falling Tower YouTube channel, we released our review of, what was it, Melissa? Echo. <laughs> Echo Yay! with, nice. Courtney with Lewis. <laughs> Professor Courtney yes. Lewis, myself, Dr. Muhammad Noor, and Courtney review Marvel's new show called Echo. Did we love it? Did we hate it? Find out. This is all new shows and professors mm -hmm. in the month of April. All right. Uh, there we go. Courtney <laughs> Lewis is a Ooh. great guest, by the way. Awesome. So definitely check it out. Hey. Great stuff, yeah. She had a lot, a lot of good stuff to say. I got, I felt mm. like I was just learning. I could just like sit yeah. back and I was oh, like sipping awesome. my beverage and enjoying. It was really cool, really yeah. great having her. <laughs> Melissa, where can people find you online? Mm. At Melissa Longo, Melissa Longo, not <laughs> Melissa, Melissa Longo. <laughs> um. <laughs> Who would ever? <laughs> <laughs> no one ever screws that up ever. <laughs> Never. <laughs> it says <laughs> bloody militia. <laughs> Melissa. Uh, um, and yes, there are two S's and you could thank my parents for that. Um, but anyway. <laughs> but when, since when do consonants change the sound of a vowel anyway? But I digress. M-A-L-I-S-S-A. -S -S um, on social media and the introvertedrepublic.com at Walking Art Made by Melissa and Walking Art Made by Melissa on Patreon. There is a story happening. A new chapter just dropped yesterday and a new one is coming very soon. Plus new stuff coming for that as well. I'm I'm channeling Jenny at that moment. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> <laughs> and um oh and three fat lobsters more stuff coming to that soon too so now there's a lot happening here <laughs> yeah wow also one more thing everybody sunday at 10 a.m pacific 1 p.m eastern time go to dr muhammad noor's uh yes. youtube channel bio trekkie yes. because he's got bio trekkie and the admiral or with the admiral some kind of preposition or connector thing uh as they talk about discovery, really cool stuff. Check that out. Good times there. Jenny R. Johnson, where can people find you online? You can find me 
Um, A, through my website, JennyRJohnson.com. You can find my shop there and you can buy prints. Um, you can also sign up for my newsletter, which is a great way to find out when those prints are dropping because I have a new painting that I'm working on of Ooh. DSpace 9 and there are going to be prints. But how will you know when they're ready? You can sign up for my newsletter. Also, you can find me on social media uh, at on Twitter at Jenny R. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Or everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was an underscore, right? Is that, that yeah. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so, any art, Johnson art, everywhere else. And I'm also updating what I'm working on. Yes. Woohoo, woohoo. <laughs> and uh, what about you, Katie? Well, anyone can find me at weather underscore Katie on all the social medias, also on YouTube as so many random fandoms. And we are going to have a live stream show of Welcome to Our Cult on April 21st, coming up at the end of the month. Charlotte Schmidt's going to be there. We're indoctrinating yes, into the manic mayhem that is Has Been Hotel. Yes. <laughs> Along with a, I don't even know how old he is anymore, comic book store owner in Sioux City. Uh, tech person from Sioux City, Iowa, a person who works at Indiana University. It's going to be Ooh. great. Wow. <laughs> All right, everybody, don't anything. forget no. social media, weather, mm, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> right? right, if I remember I'm correctly. Using that now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Shar, yourself? Oh my God. Yeah, mm. aside from finding me on so many random fandoms, we're going to watch Has Been Hotel. You can find me on social media at Oh the Profanity. If I have an account, that's probably what it is. And you can also <laughs> find my soap at boldbubbles.com. And today I am running a sale. Hey, oh. thank you, Ryan. Yes. All right. Yeah. Number one. Oh my God. Nice. Whoa, yes. citrus, that cedar, just amber, came out. and mahogany. Yum. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Fox. Woo, so it's silver fox. Silver oh, it really is that. old silver fox and i thought oh that's perfect it has I to be pike i love Get that it. so and look at oh, and look at his face that is oh my gosh. That's um, yeah that's one of the more tamer mounts <laughs> i have to buy but that's one of that's these that just... is yeah pike. that's incredible oh. <laughs> there's all there's the batch that I made. There's oh, how is the so soap great. sexy too? I'm sick I know. Of this <laughs> Look, it's Pike. <laughs> it's not even wearing an apron. A thick, creamy <laughs> lather. What is going oh, on? Yeah. Here? <laughs> Luxurious and moisture. I I don't even wow. know what's happening anymore. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I have a sale going on. Here. It's fifteen percent off, fifty dollars or more, and you get free shipping. So <laughs> use the code First Contact at oh, checkout. Yeah. That's how it'll apply. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it does not apply to shipping costs. So you got to do fifty dollars in your cart and make sure it's over fifty after. And you just period. sold out, and your website crashed. Okay, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I sold out. Yes, I'm busy tomorrow. <laughs> I may have bought all your pike soap. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna, oh, next darn, week she meet in more. a bed of pike. <laughs> Bubbles. She's just gonna be like, yeah, rubbing herself pike all stuff. over me. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> luxurious. And everybody, you can find me oh on twitter.com at Ryan T G Husk. Once again, that's at Ryan T G Husk, or just Virtual Trek on the Seventh Rule or Falling Tower on your favorite social media, but especially right here on YouTube. All right, Ooh, it says fatty acid too. That's less sexy. Oh. And vitamin E. That's good for your skin. It is. You it like is. them fatty acids. Yeah, I think oh, isn't that like great. avocado and stuff has fatty acids? Yeah, yeah, Yum. yeah coconut oil. Yeah, mm. so yeah. good for your skin. <laughs> oh my it gosh! <laughs> you guys, Katie's never gonna come back. She's so <laughs> close to you guys. My my abdomen is like hurting. I've been laughing so much. <laughs> I'm in pain. Oh man. All right. Oh, that's great. All right, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Settle it's down. So uh thanks to VFX Art DS, Dave, Zanzis, uh, Terry, Greg, Joshua, Glenn, Chris, May, another Joshua, Dave. Uh, thank you all. Portia, Don Don, the Matt Boardman, Bob D, Bruce. 
<laughs> JR Pool, KL Bliss. We appreciate all of you hanging out with us. We will see you soon. Greg Kenzo. Yeah, that's it, right? Okay. Yeah. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe <laughs> to the channel. Please hit the bell icon for notifications. Give us a nice five-star rating and a good review if you're listening in. We really appreciate that. We will see you soon, and we really appreciate you hanging out with us. Have a chill first contact day. You've earned it. Yo.